All right. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Oh, this morning I'm going to read from John chapter 4. I'm going to read verses 19 through 26. And this is going to be the end of the story from the woman at, at the well when, when uh, Jesus met the woman at the well. And this is going to go along with the last video I just put out. The last video said, at the title of it, it says, Neither is worshipped with men's hands. This video is going to explain on how, how we do worship God, how God is worshipped now, and where God's worshipped. All right, verse 19, it says, The woman saith unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. You hear that? Jesus said the hour cometh when you won't worship at Jerusalem or in that mountain where she was at. And then he tells her, Ye worship, ye know not what. And she answers back and says, We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. And then Jesus answers back now and says, But the hour cometh, and now is. That means the hour is upon us. The time is now. When the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such or this kind to worship Him. God, Spirit, there's no a, is or a in that sentence right there. It says God, Spirit, and they that worship Him must worship in spirit and in truth. You see that word? It says must worship in spirit and in truth. Must It is necessary, inevitable. It is a duty. What is proper? Properly, what must happen, i.e., what is absolutely necessary. So it says, true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. What is the Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the truth. And God's Word is the truth. How do you worship in spirit, breath? That's in word, right? And in truth is with nothing covered. That means everything you do has to be in truth, with nothing covered, nothing hidden, pulled right directly from the Word of God. And if you need to do something, then you go to the Word of God and see if that's okay to do it. And that's worshiping God. It's not just those who hear the Word, but the doers of the Word. Those are the ones who are worshiping God, is the ones who are doing the Word of God. It says, And they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. The woman saith unto Him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. <laughs> and then, once again, Jesus begins right here and he lets her know that he is the I am God and he is the Messiah. Jesus, Jesus saith unto her, I, I, it's the word ego, it means I, literally talking about self, I. Jesus said to her, unto her, I that speak unto thee am. It didn't say am he. He said, I that speak unto thee am. You'll notice that word he is not in the text. I that speak unto thee am. It's the word am I, and it means I exist or I am which lines up exactly with the name of God in the Old Testament, Yahweh, I am that I am. 
I am hath sent me. And the Father seeketh such to worship him. Such. Such as this. Of such a kind. Such. Like this. Similar. Such a one. Let's go down here. Like or such, including the other inflections from T.O.I. and Huatos, truly this, i.e., of the sort, to denote character in, or individuality, like or such and one. God's looking for people to worship Him in the Spirit and in truth. Or, you could use that word as it means, that word and, doesn't just mean and, it means even or also, or namely. Let's use some of those other definitions and check if, see, if, see if we've placed that right. God, spirit, and they that worship him must worship in spirit, even in truth. And they that worship him must worship in spirit, namely in truth. How about those definitions? They that worship God must worship in spirit and in truth. I love you all, brothers and sisters. You have a blessed, wonderful day. Stay strong in the Lord. Jesus loves you.